Hey Saber fans, Darth Alice here once again and I just wanted to give you a quick peek of the newest finished Saber that I've gotten done for a repeat customer over on a Imperial Royal Arms forum. What this is is my newest version of the Katana and what I've done is number one by request make this thing 14 inches long so it's a full size. Also what I've done is the whole Saber is built with oval pipe including going all the way up to the neck right here. All of that is oval all the way up to the Suba including the back end. What I've done with this as well is make a custom sheath with some brass and copper pieces fittings to be able to hang it off of a sword belt. I've also went through and used real sea ray skin for the main wrap on top of a copper jacket powder coat and then real leather that I did a wrap on this all the way across. I used the original Makuni that came with the Suba and the pommel kit to give it a unique look. And if you look at the, at the back end of this, it has a little demon's head on this. On the front it's the same thing. So we call this one the, uh, the Fire Oni Katana. Also what you can see here too are the switches. That's the auxiliary switch here. The primary is back here. Recharge port. Little wooden peg right here. Okay, and that's the kill key. So here, let's fire this up. Now this runs an igniter R5 with Z6 main LED, which is an 18 water. I'm also running an AW18650 battery in this thing, pushing 3.7 volts. We've also added a couple little uh, accent blinkies to the back end of the pommel here. And I placed all of this for it all to make sense. With the top of the saber here, the flat of your palm here, the little manuki right here for grip, just like on a real sword, and then for the back grip, back here we have the second little makuni here, manuki here. All right, so let's fire this up. And what's neat too? I've designed the sheath to accept a 29-inch long blade from the edge the saber itself, the edge of the meter. This is running a uh, pro quai for the first font. thing about this saber as well. Everybody talks about wattages and for years we've always really talked about an LED in terms of wattage. 3 watt being the most common for a single color and then we started using the four different die LED engines and then there was 5 watts and then you hear people using tri rebels as 9 watts. Then of course the 12 watts. Well right now this is running six different LEDs but I'm only running two of them so therefore I have six watts running here in a royal blue. Now if I do this, this just went to a dual phase, I just turned on both green dies, now we're running 12 watts of power. So really you're talking capacity for the LED. An 18 watt has 18 watts capacity when you're creating white. Blasters. That's the first font, and I've got nine on here. Let's see. Now this also has music tracks as well. And I just reused the card off another saber. I do like this music track. Of course, Force Unleashed. And I do believe with this design, it's one of the most comfortable and the best wielding sabers or wieldable sabers that you can get your hands on in terms of speed, grip, and overall construction. It's extremely stout and solid. Then we jump to the next font. Synthetic dual core. 
In this one I'm running more of a yellow fire orange blade on this. Played with the settings a bit on this again to have the red increase and decrease looking again, giving that yellow fire blade effect with the orange mixed in. Blasters. <laughs> Dual phase. Then it goes back into more of a green yellow with again the green pulsing in and out, creating a green fire blade. Blasters again. And dual phase again. So there we go, folks. And when it comes to colors, this has a total of 16 font banks available with Igniter R5. I could actually have up to 32 different colors on this saber with individual clashes, flashes, anything you want is fully programmable when you get into the Igniter R5 configurator, which is a free download from um, NigonElectronicsCorporation.com. So once again, folks, thank you for watching. This is Darth Alice, and may the Force be with you always.